Hello, 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 my lovely, lovely friends. Thank you for joining me for another pick a card. We are doing um, a how are they thinking, feeling, currently check-in, um, like an energy check-in on how your person is thinking and feeling about you, about the connection, what's going on with them kind of thing. Um, so we have three piles. We have pile one, pile two, and pile three. So we have a piece of selenite. Pile one, we have opalite or a sea opal for pile two and then we have um separatine for pile three at the end i just got these in from Lindsay at white rose guidance it's her divine love messages volume two so i have volume one which are my favorite everybody knows and i just got these volume two ones in. there's some really amazing stuff written on here so um at the end of each um little drawing we will pull cards for what is on your person's heart and mind about you and the connection um so make sure you stick around for that um i'm so excited and thank you thank you thank you Lindsay, for sending me these um yeah, her brand new deck. So I think they should be available if you're curious about getting these. I have her linked in my description box. You can go to her page and find the links to um, her decks that she makes, um, her independent decks. So uh, yeah, I'm so excited. So again, I just wanted to thank her so much for sending me these. I feel so honored and so blessed. I'm super excited about using them. All right, guys. So again, take a moment look over um, your pile, I'll look over the piles and go with, with whatever one you're drawn to first. If you're drawn to more than one, then feel free to look at both. You might have messages in both piles for you. Um, and also remember that this is a general reading. Um, just take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Don't try to make things fit if they don't feel right to you. Um, a lot of people check into these videos. There's a lot of energies that come through. So again, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. All right, guys. So um, focus in on your piles. You can pause it if need, need be. And um, I will see you at um, your pile. The timestamps will be in the, the description box below. Thanks, guys. Hello, 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 my lovely friends for pile one. You guys pick this wand of selenite. Put that, let's put that right up here. And uh, yeah, let's see what's going on with your person. How are they thinking and feeling about you, about the connection, um, everything going on with them. And I just wanna say a quick thank you to everyone that has watched my videos, that left me such wonderful comments um, and everything. I just, I, it, I appreciate you guys so much. So thank you for tuning in and watching. And also don't forget if you missed it at the beginning, I got the White Rose Guidance Divine Love Message Volume 2. Woo so excited about these um, deck in. So we'll be pulling some of those messages at the end of your pile too. So um, Lindsay now has you know, volume one and two of these, and you guys know those are my favorite, so I'm so excited to use those on this reading. And yes, I'm a nerd, but you guys all know that, so here we go. <laughs> Ooh, I have a random card stuck in there. That's interesting. Okay, what is going on with pile one's person, please? We have strength in reverse. We have the five pinnacles. We have the two of wands in reverse. The King of Wands. All right. Let's see what else. We have the Eight of Cups in reverse. We have the Two of Cups. The Three of Cups. And the Nine of Cups. Okay. Let's go over how your person is thinking and feeling about you and the connection. Okay, so I feel like this person is feeling a little left out in the cold in this connection or they're realizing if vice versa, if they left you out in the cold, like if you guys are not talking, they're feeling a little, like they realize that they were um, I'm feeling regretful. Like that's what I kind of feel like they're, they're feeling some regret. So um, this little scenario is for non-communication at the moment. Um, what's coming through. So I feel like this person has realized that they've kind of done some messed up stuff and so that has caused like 
they're planning for the like the things that they kind of planned on doing are kind of a miss at the moment. Yeah, I just <clears throat> sorry, I keep getting like a kind of regretful like their thinking is it's kind of like a regretful thought like like where do they go now? Like they if they messed up with you and you know treated you unfairly, they're like realizing it and they're like, uh, well, well, what do I do now? Um, as for how they're feeling, you know, I feel like they're, if they turn their back on you, there's a lot of, again, they're, they're regretting that. They, they're realizing that you guys um, have this really beautiful connection, like this Two of Cups here. This is one of my soulmate, like soul level type connection. So um, if you guys are together and um, like if there was any sort of fight or something, or if this person hasn't been treating you to the level that you deserve, like I feel like they are definitely recognizing it. Um, like there's some beautiful love here, guys. And we have the Three of Cups, which is about celebration. Sometimes this can mean like a third party interference, not necessarily. Um, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Uh, but um, I, I'm kind of just feeling like they still have a little, like a lot of strong emotions for you, but they are also like sitting in their independence a little bit. Um, it's kind of where they're at right now. Let me get some, okay, this deck, I'm going to get some clarifiers for what's going on with your person, but yeah, I think they're just having some regrets. They still feel a lot of love for you in this connection, but they're also a little like, well, you know, weighing out like the love's still there, but they're like, well, you know, I'm still doing my own thing kind of thing, but I, again, overall, like the major thing that's coming through for this pile is a sense of regret. Um, let's see what. Yeah, we have the lovers in reverse. It's like they they messed up. Temperance in reverse. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. And the Page of Wands. So if this person, like if you guys are in contact and they've kind of switched over to like a little more playful and flirtatious, it's because they feel like they, they've lost their, their footing in this relationship. Like, um, again, I, I just feel like they, they feel like they messed up in something. Like if you guys aren't talking, they're definitely thinking about it. They're like weighing out like what, what they did and then what that caused. Like it, it's put a big damper in, in how grounded they felt in this relationship. But um, for some reason I'm hearing that they want to communicate, but it's going to be like a kind of like a playful flirtatious communication, not like a, you know, like almost like you know, flirt, very flirty. I'm hearing like text kind of communication, very kind of light hearted, but with some passion behind it, but more like physical passion. But um, they're, they're wondering like for what they're thinking, they're wondering, did they really mess everything up? Yeah, let's get some romance angel cards real quick. What's person, pile one's person thinking, feeling, please? What's going on with this connection? So, the, yep, there's definitely a lot of chemistry here. There's still a very strong magnetic connection. They still feel, when they think about you, if you guys aren't in, aren't, together there there's a lot of chemistry when they think about you they have a lot of nice daydreams about you I feel and they definitely still have very strong romantic feelings again this works for if you guys are together or not together um, there's still a lot of chemistry there's a lot of romantic feelings if you're worried that they've kind of forgotten about you or they stop feeling for you no they definitely still have romantic feelings for you they still can't deny that chemistry that you guys have um, and very soon, clearly decide what you want so it comes to you now. So if you guys aren't talking, I, again, I think then that kind of came up right under that feeling that I got, that, that flirtatious kind of interaction they want to have with you. Um, I think that's going to come very soon. So if you guys aren't talking, there you, you should, you know, for a lot of you guys expect something to come up soon between you two um, from your person. Let's kind of see, also get like an energy overlook. What is Pile One's person energetically? What's their overall energetic mode? Angel of Love. So I feel like, yeah, we had, you know, romantic. I think that 
you're still pulling at their heartstrings. Um, again, we have that Two of Cups, we have the Three of Cups. I feel like they're they're unable to deny their love for you and their love for this connection. So if you guys aren't together, I feel like it's very like almost they're looking at all the good times right now instead of the bad times. Like almost romanticizing is what I'm hearing. Like they're, you know, sometimes when you have been separated from someone for a while, you start forgetting all the bad things that happen. You just see the good. So I feel like this person is like romanticizing. Um, this this connection which you know isn't a bad thing but that they're just kind of in this very lovey reminiscent like you see her kind of looking down at this heart and you know she's studying it. it's like she's re remembering all the beautiful things that happened if you guys are together and you're wondering you know how this person feels about you if it's a new relationship I think they're feeling very like even though you know there's some lightheartedness here they still feel like like they're 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 looking deep into their heart about the truth of this connection is what just came through. So let's pull one more of those. I feel like there's another message in here for you guys. How oh, one? What else? One more. Let's see. Envy. Okay, so the message that just came across for some of you guys, if you are separate and you've moved on or you look like you're moving on, they're very envious of what you're doing. Like they're feeling left out in the in the cold. So again, maybe like they're regretting what they did because they're watching you, and um, they're feeling very envious of everything, all all your happiness. I feel like that's like their shadow side. It's like they're looking fondly at their past with you, and then the future or whatever presence going on with you, they're getting a little envious. Um, just like like yeah, a little shadow aspect of 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 the connection going on here. Um, Okay, I'm being drawn to this pile, so let's see. What else can we get for pile one person, please? Pile one. I'm just gonna pull one, but two, oh, three popped out. So we're just gonna go with them. We have divine counterpart. So again, you know, I was talking about the soul level connection. There's definitely a soul level connection here. I'll read this. It says, this person is a divine counterpart. You are aligning with your twin flame. You are connecting spiritually or astrally with each other. This is coming together with a mirror soul to achieve something on an energetic level. All right, we also have reunion. This is someone from your past returning and reunion forming. This could be a connection to someone from childhood. This is a soul level or physical reunion with another. This may pertain to a family reunion. So you guys, if you are in separation, for some of you guys, you could be looking like to reconnecting with each other, which is what I was feeling we have very soon here too. And then, but then we also have <laughs> delays and blocks. There are delays and blocks in manifesting a new relationship in your life. This is a testing period. There are deep wounds that need healing. You may be struggling to get out of a certain way of thinking, a certain path, or an unhealthy relationship. This may pertain to deep transformation. This is slow but definite progress. So it, as I was reading this, this popped up. So again, if you're like trying to make it look like you're in a new relationship, that they're envious, but you're not quite manifesting it, it's because you have some stuff you need to heal. Again, general reading, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Let's see if I need to pull any more oracle cards before we jump into the love message cards. One person, is there any other messages about this relationship and their person? Yeah, I'm also hearing like if this person has been delayed, that the reason for it is that they're healing some wounds. Like, um, again, if you some of you guys watching are, um, you know, soul level connection or twin flame type connection, um, that there's been some delays and blocks in this because some soul healing needed to, to go on, and if that's why you're separated, that's because it. It needed to be. Um, all right. Sorry, I had to get one more message. Sometimes they just pop in. So, I'm trying to see if I'm missing anything else. I think I'm getting it. Okay. We have changed tracks. All right. So 
so yeah, I think some change is going to go on. Like, there's going to be, like, almost, like, you might be surprised. Like, if you think this person's been on, like, one straight thing and you don't think that you, you know, it's almost impossible for you guys to get back together, just know that things can change like that. And I feel like there's been a big change in their trajectory and what they wanted to do. Like, they might have been going one path and then they're, like, realized that they did all this stuff and they blocked out the, one of the best things in their life. And so they're switching their, their, their tracks back to you. Um, sorry so much of this is a separation kind of thing if you guys are watching for together if you're you know if you're a new relationship I think this person is going to be taking it to a deeper level and then be true to yourself so it's like I feel like this person is starting to realize the truth of who they are and who you are and who this connection is and they are ready to be true to that and to you so um, Let's jump into this since I'm so excited about these. Hopefully you guys are too. Um, let's see what your person has to say. In the heart of hearts, what would they say if nothing was holding them back? What would they want you to know? Pile one, please. Pile one's person. What would they want to say? It must be buried deep in here. Nothing's coming out yet. Ooh, I'm not ready for commit with it with anyone okay so for some of you guys this might person might still just be there might be you know this delay and block it might be a little bit you know I still feel like for a majority of you guys it's gonna be sooner than later but this person again if they come in with a, a light-hearted um, offer or communication it's because they're not fully ready to jump right back into being super serious but you know, so again, take that as you want. You know, people do do you what you allow. You do have control in this relationship. So if that's not what you want, you can, you know, keep them out of your lives. But um, just, just almost accept if they do come back, it, it might be a little bit more lighthearted than a full force committed kind of thing. Um, love it isn't always on time. Please be patient with me. Okay. So again, it kind of reiterates that overall feeling even though they do have regrets they do have realizations that they still need a little more time they're still figuring out they're still healing from something but again i think that they just can't stay away like they can't stay away but again that communication like again i know this has been a really good reading i don't want you to get your hopes up that they're going to be like let's get married tomorrow um it's not the feeling i get it's just a feeling like they they want to connect with you and they miss you but they are still staying really lighthearted about their what's on their heart um thank you for your beautiful light and energy in my life i definitely feel like you've you've shown them how a better way to be in life i can't bring myself up to open up and let you in so yeah this person might still have some like might be a little bit emotionally unavailable again because we did have you know that lovers in reverse it's like they're not fully ready to open up to all of it but Again, I think they're changing. Things are changing. Um, they're getting on track. But they might also just be focusing on a little more of the physical lightheartedness of this connection. Because it's easier for them to accept. Like, again, if this is... For some of you watching that are in the Twin Flame journey, this might be very intense for them. And they don't quite know how to handle that. So they're just keeping it light. Um, again, you can take what you want and do with that. You're not... You know, we all have free will, so don't ever forget that. But this is just more of an understanding of where this person is coming from. Um, that they just, they're just figuring it out. Our love can power galaxies. That's awesome. I know that you know I'm hiding deep feelings for you, and now I feel stuck. So yeah, I don't think they've been honest. I don't think they've been fully honest with themselves, and they're still not quite there yet. All I ever wanted and needed is in you. Yeah, they definitely, again, they know, it's like they know, but they don't, ex don't know. They know, but they don't know. Like, they can't quite put their finger on what this is, but they're not ready to let it go. Um, but again, I think they're almost still in a, like, a shallow level about it. Like, seeing just the, um, the chemistry and the, and the, the physicality of this connection. All right, let's get oop, two more. I'm drawn to your deep intelligence and wisdom. So yeah, I feel like you guys are very, very smart, very just 
wise people. I think you might be a little more deep than they are, but they're drawn to you, even though they, they feel shallow in comparison to the depth of who you are, but they're also intrigued by that. And it's like, I always hope to have you in my life. So yeah, I feel like they, if you guys are not talking, they like almost can't take, they're on that edge of like, they can't take it anymore without connecting, even though they still don't really understand all of this. Like they, they have to, they have to, they, they almost can't help themselves <laughs> is what um, I'm thinking. So again, guys, so for pile one, I hope that helps. Um, you know, again, I really think if they do communicate, like don't expect like the world from them but just expect a lighthearted kind of thing. And again, you can do what you want with that information. You're in power here and don't lose your power. Um, let me get a guidance for you guys real quick from this deck real quick. Can we get an overall guidance for the viewer, please? One last final thought for pile one. Have faith. That's your message is to have faith. All right, Pile One, thank you guys so much. Um, if you did res this resonated, please like, subscribe, comment, share, all that good stuff. I really appreciate it. And don't forget, um, I do a monthly giveaway, um, free personal reading giveaway for all my subscribers that comment. So don't forget to do that. And um, I look forward to seeing you guys in another reading. Thank you so very much. Hello, 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 my lovely friends for pile two. Um, we, you guys pick the sea opal or opalite. Um, all right, so we are going over what is currently going on with your person. How are they thinking and feeling about this connection? How are they feeling about you? What are they thinking about you? Just to let you know, that was split in my deck. We had the lovers and the sun. That's always nice. And I have cards falling everywhere. Alright, so let's see what is going on with your person. Oh, and at the end, I just got this deck in. If you didn't watch my intro, we are going to be pulling um, love messages from your person, from this new deck I just got from White Rose Guidance sent me this for volume two. I'm so excited. Alright, so let's see what is going on with Pile Two's person. How are they thinking and feeling about the connection and them and what's going on with them? So. Oh, we have death in reverse. We have the ten of cups in reverse. And our king of swords in reverse. Five of swords. Eight of cups in reverse. We have the wheel. And the page of cups. And the high priestess. Okay, I'm hearing that you're in their head, like that popped up really big, but like they don't quite get it, like they're they're a little stressed about that. <laughs> That's for some of you guys, sorry, that was just an initial thing. Okay, so pile two's person, I feel like they're resisting some change when it comes to their family life, like they're not ready to let go of a cycle just yet, but it's needed, so if they're holding on to something from how they... Okay, I'm hearing they're, they're holding on to how they thought something should be and it's causing them some stress. So if things with you guys didn't really go the way they wanted it to go or how they planned it to go, it's really bothering them. Like they're, they're yeah, they're, they're like not willing to let go of their thoughts and how they thought this should have gone down. That's what I just heard. So as how are they feeling? Like, they, they're not quite sure where to go from here just yet. But, you know, we have the wheel here, so it's almost like there's some divine intervention, like making that wheel turn. It is upright, so that's more of a good luck kind of thing. Um, and then we have the Page of Cups, and it's so funny in this deck, like, it's almost like it's heads up in the clouds and, like, wooden pigs fly. And we have, you know, we have, like, little flying pig here, and there's, like, a, like that little hand making the... The heart thing so 
I feel like if you guys aren't together, they're thinking a lot about like a lot of lovey things you guys did. Um, and if, yeah, if you guys aren't in communication verbally, I feel like they want things to be different, but they almost don't see how that could happen. Like they're like, oh, well, this, this will happen when pigs fly. Or even like if you guys got in a fight, like I feel like that was said, like, like, yeah, this will happen over, it, it's not going to happen. Like there's almost like a disbelief that things can work out at this point, but there's definitely a strong connection. Like we have the high priestess here. So this is like you and they see you as this beautiful, amazing, like intuitive person, very strong, just almost psychic ability. And I feel like there is like, for some of you guys, you guys might talk telepathically or you might tell them stuff. And I don't think they fully know what to make of that um, just yet. And the five of swords is also like about a fight. And, and winning at all costs no matter what. So there might have been some, like if you guys did, if a fight went down that caused a separation in you guys, I feel like they, they said a lot of harsh words. And they're just not sure how they feel about it. So like they almost don't see how this reconnection could be at this point because of everything that had like was said and has been said. All right, let's get some clarifiers on what's going on with Palchi's person. If you guys are together, so let me go over another scenario. If you guys are together, um, I just feel like this person is a little unsure of where the future of this is going. Like, they might need to change some habits in order to move forward with you. Um, and they're just not sure how to go about that or the best way to move forward just yet. Like, there might just be some difference of you know, not bad differences between you guys, but just like, they're just trying to figure it out is what I keep hearing. They're just trying to figure out exactly how to go about moving forward. And um, if there's, for some reason, I feel like there's some long, like people watching that might be in like a long distance kind of situation. And like, maybe you guys both have families and they're like, how do I even make this work? Like, it's almost stressing them out. Like they, they want to like, but you know, you live here, I have a family, I live over here or you live over there, you have family, I live over here, I have family, like how do we blend this together? And that's like weighing heavily on their mind. Um, and so it's almost like a, a dream scenario and how that would even happen, regardless of how much love they feel for it. But I, again, I feel like we have the, the wheel upright, which I feel like it's like some things are gonna be turning in, in your favor or their favor when it comes to this connection. Um, we have the Empress. Which, so they st they definitely see you as this beautiful, nurturing, kind, loving person. I mean, we have the High Priestess and the Empress here. So there's no doubt um, how they view you. Um, so if you're worried like that they don't see how amazing you are, they do. They do see it. Um, they might not feel like they're good enough. And that might cause them some stress. Because um, you're, you're a little bit out of their league, is what I'm hearing or they feel like you're out of their league, even if they don't tell you that, but they don't feel like as confident in themselves when it comes to you. They feel like juvenile compared to you. So we have the Eight of Pentacles, like in reverse. So it's like, it's gonna take, like they're not sure if they're willing to make whatever, there, there's this, something's keeping you guys apart and it's gonna take some work and some finagling to, to make things work and again it's like they almost can't see how to make it all work like how can they make this pig fly I don't know this little pig is just staring out at me this person's like this is almost impossible they feel like but as much as they want it and this connection is real it's like how do they make this work and so they just don't even know like they can't see how to make this connection move into the next phase yeah, we have the Queen of Cups in reverse. So it's like they don't feel like they, they measure up to your level of love is what I'm feeling. Like, and also like if you, if they have any self-worth issues of not feeling good enough for you, when you do offer your love to them, it's almost like they can't accept it because they can't, they can't, it's like you can't fully allow someone to love you if you don't love yourself. Um, again, that's just for some of you guys. Um, I definitely feel like they've put you on a pedestal, though. They, they're idealistic about this situation, but they don't know how to make it work. And then we have temperance in reverse. So um, it's just like, for me, that's saying, like, um, it's just not the right time just yet. 
Like it, there's some timing at play and it's just not the right time for for your guys in this connection to come together. Let's get some more, let's get some oracle cards to clarify what's going on with Pile Cheese Person, please. Like heart to heart conversation. So honest, honest, honestly discuss your feelings with each other. So if you guys haven't been honest about your feelings, then um, make sure that you are being honest. Um, if you guys aren't in communication and you're not sure how to do that, um, they could want to also have a heart to heart and like explain to you, but I feel like they can't find the words. Like we have our King of Swords in reverse. It's like they can't wrap their mind around how to fix this is what I'm hearing. Like how do they make this work is what I just keep hearing. Um, reconciliation, but they want, they want to come back. They want to reconcile with you. They want to, it says someone from your past is returning to your life. They want to figure this out. They're just not quite sure. Like it almost feels like a pipe dream to them, but this is true love. This is a romance of a lifetime. So, um, they definitely feel the connection, the pull to you. I mean, how can they not? Um, it's just like, it's a figuring out, it's a, it's a how not a lack of feeling. It's just like, how is this going to work out? Um, let's see. I'm being guided to pull something from here. So can we get some more clarity on what's going on for pile two's person? What are they thinking, feeling about this connection? You know, trust your intuition. Trust what you're feeling. Listen to your intuition, what your intuition is telling you about the situation or person. Your feelings are real. Trust that you can tune into your inner guidance and follow it. Everything you need is within follow your heart. So they could be, you know, trying to figure out, like, their gut is telling them one thing. Like, do they go with that? So they're learning to trust that. Or that also could be a message for you. And I hate saying this in reading, especially if you guys are in separation and you feel like they need to make the effort. For some of you guys, if you've been weighing, like, do I reach out? Do I try to mend this? For some of you guys, I, I, there's a message and I just have to say it. Um, I never want anyone to feel like they have to do something they shouldn't or feel strongly against. But if you're weighing that way, then go ahead and, and reach out to them. If you're feeling pulled to do so. That's for somebody. General reading, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. But... I'm not doing my job if I'm not telling all the messages that come through. Regardless of my bias about it. <laughs> Alright, and then we have true love again, guys. So, it says this is true love, divine love, or you're manifest manifesting a high vibrational relationship. You are giving and receiving more love in your life. This is healthy, emotional, genuine connection with another. This may pertain to you you reaching a vibration of unconditional love. So you guys had two cards, you know, of true love here. So if you're wondering about this connection, yes, there is a true connection here. Yeah, it just is gonna take some work to fix whatever has happened. And if they need to do the work, they need to do the work. So you might just have to be patient till they get there. Um, We have the thinking man, so I definitely think this person is really thinking about how to figure this out. I've been saying that they're just not sure how to make it work, but they're thinking about it. And then we have the sixth chakra, um, Archangel Metatron. So your sixth chakra is your um, is your third eye, and um, right? Yes. Sorry. So it's like connecting with your innermost intuition. We also had trust your intuition here. So. Um, yeah, and, and also it's like going along with this thinking, like they're thinking about what is their gut telling. Again, I still feel like they're they're a little stressed about how this is gonna work out, but they're they're very deep in thought. We also might have some air signs here. Um, and there's just so much of this like closed eyes the connection. So again, if you're trying to telepathically connect with them, I know that sounds a little crazy, but um, I feel like there is that level of connection here through um, your minds and your mind's eye. All right, so let's let's get a couple messages, like what's on their heart of hearts. Like if they could say whatever they wanted to say without any hangups, what would they want to tell you? And this is um, divine or white rose guidance, divine love messages, volume two. 
so excited. Sorry, that's not zooming in. Okay. Um, so pumped about these. Let's see. You are my star who outshines all the others. That's very sweet. I know who you are to me. So they, again, they, they know, I think they just don't know what to do about it. I love you, I hate you, I can't live without you. Can you handle all of my scars? So maybe this person has a lot of inner demons, and, you know, and they go back and forth between loving and hating. I almost feel like you guys have had this push and pull kind of back and forth, and then they're worried that they aren't good enough for you. Um, I want you by my side. I want to follow you through time, all time in all universes. So yeah, they don't want to let this connection go. I, I think this person just doesn't know how to fix this connection. And again, whatever, there's something like situational that's keeping you guys apart too, I feel. And they're just not sure how to make that work. It just seems impossible to them. Our love can power galaxies. So that's really cool. So um, let's pull, I'm gonna pull one of these love oracle um just kind of like an overall guidance for you any last message for pile two please anything that pile two needs to hear about this connection to keep in mind these cards are kind of hard to shuffle so when it comes to matters of the heart there is no right or wrong every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love so again if something's weighing on your heart stop worrying about the right or wrongs of it or who was right and who was wrong like if your heart is guiding you to do something then um just know you need to, to trust your intuition and follow your heart about this matter so okay pile two i hope that helps um thank you guys so so much for being here um i really appreciate it don't forget to subscribe i do a free or a monthly giveaway for all my subscribers for free personal reading so um, when you subscribe and comment on my videos, that's how I enter you into that drawing. Um, and it's just a big thank you from me to you guys for all your support and, and watching my videos and, and being here with me. So I really, really appreciate you guys. Um, but thank you guys so, so much, and I will see you in a future reading. Sorry about that. Hey, pile three. You guys pick the separate team. Let's see. Um, just so you know, we're going to pull how's your person thinking and feeling. At the end, I just got this new deck from White Rose Guidance. It's the Divine Love Messages Volume 2. So we'll be pulling uh, messages from their heart for you. Um, let's see. How is your person thinking and feeling currently for pile three's person? Thinking and feeling about this connection, what's going on with them. We kind of get, you know, a mixed bag of of messages that come through on these so um, some of them are what's going on in their lives how are they feeling about all this so I just say it as it comes um, I appreciate all you guys for, for watching it means so much to me and all your comments and everything you guys have just been so amazing so I wanted to say a quick thank you um, I, I truly appreciate you guys, all of you guys so thank you thank you thank you um, all right what's our pile three's person feeling and thinking about them the connection at this time what's our current snapshot of energies oh, we had two we have the five of cups in reverse we have the king of wands we have the knight of wands in reverse the page of wands in reverse okay so we might be dealing with some fire signs here guys um, we have the page of pentacles in reverse Judgment in reverse. Four of Swords in reverse. And the Hermit in reverse. Oh, this one popped out, so it wants to come out. It was actually at the bottom of the deck when I was shuffling, so I did notice that one. So, all right, it kind of goes with some of the messages I was getting. So, I feel like this person, like, we have two of our, like, rest cards in reverse, so I feel like if, if they've been at a pause in this relationship, they're ready to move out of that. But the issue is I think they don't know where to start. So both of our pages tend to be like, the pages tend to be the messengers of, 
of our court cards. They're in reverse, so it's like they don't quite know how to get started, but I feel like they're definitely moving out of this energy. There's a fear of judgment, though, of, of being poorly judged here as well for their actions in the past. They're feeling like we have our Five of Cups, which is about, you know, someone focusing on the past and we're, you know, um, focusing in on, on all the things that went wrong. In reverse, I feel like they're moving past that, but I think they're carrying a little bit of regret. But again, they want this new start. I mean, this full like just popped out. So this person wants a new start. They want to move forward with you. They want to, um, to like. So I think they're just daydreaming on like a little bit on how they do that. They've they've been in a pause. They're figuring things out. There's still some insecurities here, and they're not quite sure how to make that first step forward. Is what I'm hearing. Let me get some clarifiers on what is going on. The pile. Of one wants to pop out we have ace of swords and, and so again it's like this not knowing like how to make that initial communication um or how to put that thought into action but the thought is there that initial thought of wanting to connect sorry this is very reading very like um in separation so if you guys are in a relationship i think this person has been thinking about a lot about and they're ready to move to a next step with you um you're curious they definitely this person feels a lot of attraction attra like very drawn to you very passionate about you they might not act on it all the time um, but they're it's definitely very very deep-seated in them okay, we also get some clarifiers for pal three please we have the six of cups so um, that's one of my soulmate level kind of cards um, or it can be just a um, person from your past past life kind of thing, but a soul level connection for sure. And it could, you know, just be someone that you knew from your childhood as well. And there's a couple meanings to that card, but for me, it's one of my soulmate level cards. Um, so that's really nice to see pop through. So it's the soul level type connection. We have the eight of cups, which is, let me pull one more. Okay. And the five of pentacles in reverse. So again, I feel like this person is ready to move out past from their past mistakes they, they realize what they've done. They want to move forward. They want to go on a journey to figure things out. They're sick of just waiting around. They're ready to, to make that first step forward. But again, figuring out how to do that or what step to take is what's holding them back at the moment. They're, they're, they're figuring that out. Um, they're still planning their move is what I'm hearing. But they definitely have decided in their head that they're, they're ready to let the past go and want to move forward. Express your love. Go ahead and make a romantic gesture. So again, I think they want this is these are like, you know, kind of what they're thinking. They're thinking about how do they express their love. They're ready to make, you know, the offer. They they want to go on this new adventure around with you. Um flirt. So it might when they do, if you guys are in separation, they might keep it a lighthearted communication. They might just make it flirty, kinda just to kind of test the waters and put their foot in the door. Again, I just feel like they still just haven't figured out the exact way, but they do want to express their love, but it might just be a little flirty and surface level in the beginning. Um, playfulness. So to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit. So I think these want to be like, it's like they want to start anew, but they want to start in a playful, like if it got really serious or things just got really serious between you two, but in not necessarily a, a good way. They, they want to be more playful and lighthearted about this next attempt. Um, or maybe if you told them in the past they were too serious or, um, I don't know, that's a message for somebody. I feel like you, you're the more fun, fiery one and they might be a little more serious in life and you kind of told them they need to lighten up and they, they've taken your words to heart and they really want to kind of change that. Um, let's see, for Pal 3, what other messages can we get for Pal 3's person, please? What are they thinking and feeling? Help Pal 3 understand what's going on with this person. Commitment. You're attracting a lifelong commitment, a life partner, or a soul flame. This is one of... this. This is the one you'll choose to spend this lifetime with. This may pertain to engagement, a sacred union, or renewal of vows. A current relation could be propelled forward. So if you guys are, you know, for those of you in a con um, 
in a committed relationship or in a relationship together, I think this person's going to be making like a more solid offer to you. Like they want it, they're ready to move forward. They're, they're sick of kind of thinking about it. I think they're still figuring out, you know, and for some of you guys, you might be a proposal, um, in your future. If you guys are in separation, I think this person wants to be more serious. Again, I think it's just a matter of figuring it out. Um, let's see if we can get one more from this deck. It's really interesting guys. It's kind of fun. And reconnection. Um, this is a reconnecting or healing of relationship, a connection of reigniting, rekindling, and reviving. This could be a relationship reaching a different level. Expect a healthy shift, change, or grow. This may pertain to healing family issues. So yeah, there may be a reconnection. There might be moving something forward. This person's, you know, he's done a lot of, or he or she's done a lot of healing. They're moving out of that place. They're ready to make it start a new start. Um, so yeah, those are all, these are really good energy, guys. I'm scared to keep going. <laughs> I feel like, like it's the other, you know, ball going to drop. I'm just kidding. So, all right, let's see. Energetically, how is our person thinking, feeling? Where is their energy currently at? This is the energy oracle, so that's why I'm asking that question. Um, how is Pile three's person on an energetic level? Hostiles. So this card is about being a little defensive, um, but also could be someone that's wanting to fight for something. So with all this going on, I feel like this person is just ready to like fight to move forward, to fight for things that they lost. They're, they're sick of just waiting around, like they're ready to almost be like forceful and really go after for what they want is, is the message that I'm hearing here. Um, okay, we're going to go ahead and move to these. I mean, guided to go ahead and, and pull some messages from their heart of hearts. Like what would Pile three's person say? What do they want to say? What's in their heart? What are they thinking? What are their truths for Pile 3, please? We have the kindness in your heart is so beautiful. So yeah, they, I think you're just, you've been so kind and sweet and caring to them in the past or during all this, like they still just feel that love for you. Um, they've never been able to let that go. You are my rose. Love that. We have a lot of roses in this little, like, it's funny, like it says you are my rose and like, in this card, we have the fool, and he's holding one single rose, um, and he's like ready to take you with him. So, like with this card saying "You are my rose," it's like let's go on this journey together. That's kind of cool. All right, I just got the chills. Sorry, nerding out over tarot, guys. It's what I do. <laughs> All right, let's see what else is. <laughs> I'm such a dork. I'm so sorry. Things are always as they seem. So I feel like if this person has been kind of standoffish or hasn't been open with how they're feeling, like I think they're just holding more back um, about this connection or what they want from this connection than they've let on. So just just know, like instead of telling yourself the bad things about the story, I'm guided to tell you to start telling yourself better better stories. Um, Again, general reading, take what resonates, leave what doesn't, but that's just good for all case scenarios. Just start telling yourself better stories. The message is definitely for somebody. I feel like someone's heard someone say that to them recently, and I'm just reiterating, tell yourself better stories. I want to be there for you and take care of you. Oh, that's very sweet. You know, if they haven't been there for you in the past, like it's, it's like new, new, new foot, they're, new footing they're getting in their life. It's heartbreaking we can't have more than we do now. So, yeah, again, if you guys are in separation or if this relationship isn't where you want it to be, they definitely feel that. They want things to be different. I'm drawn to your deep intelligence and wisdom. So I feel like you're this very deep, smart, wise person. Um, and they're very drawn to that about you. I wasn't looking for this. I don't know how to deal with this. So this person might be like taken aback at how strong this connection is and how this like this pull they have towards you. So it's like this fool is being drawn back to all of this to reconnect. Um, yeah. Let's pull a couple more just because I'm having fun. <laughs> and I'm so excited to look through this whole deck. I'm, I'm loving this deck. Um, oh, two more. 
That's great. Okay. You are always so sweet. So yeah, it's like you, they think of you just this big sweetheart and says, I feel like I've been missing you my whole life. You're my lost paradise. Heck yeah, guys. That's like super awesome. All right, so I want to get one more just overall guidance for you guys. Um, the Lover's Oracle deck. I want to see if we can get any more guidance or food for that or any other messages, pile threes. Viewers need to hear about this connection or right, you guys are getting two. Because two things have popped out. So transformation. Your relationship with another is about to deepen. Love conquers and transfers or transforms all things. Well, that's really good, right? And deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Do what feels right. So, guys, I don't, I don't know what else to say. This is, like, a really, really good reading. Um, yeah, I think things are just going your way, and uh, you can expect some good things from your person. So I hope this helps. If you like this, um, please like, subscribe, share. Um, I do um, a free giveaway. I do a giveaway every month for a free personal reading for all my subscribers who comment. So make sure you're comment. You make sure you're subscribed and commenting, and I'll enter you into my drawing. Um, it's just a little way of me to say thank you to you guys for being here and supporting me. Um, thank you guys again so much, and I look forward to seeing you in a future reading.